Hello friends, even though I'm going to get in a little bit of trouble for copyright infringement, I'm going to try to paint and let you watch me. So I have a photograph here. It's actually a, a combination of two different photos. You might see that I've, I have an app in my phone that allows me to combine pictures. And I'm pretty happy with it. So um, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I may not use uh, a grid at all on this particular painting. I talked to the bride and groom, and they are more interested in a more impressionistic style painting than a photographic portrait, realistic, which is great with me. Um, so we'll see. I, I'll use a grid if I find myself in trouble, so to speak, if I find myself having a hard time getting the, the two figures. <clears throat> to, to work out. There's another way of saying if I mess up, if I draw poorly, <laughs> then I'll use a grid, but probably won't need to. First thing I'm doing right now is just now standing back eight feet from the canvas. I want to see if, you know, make sure I get them positioned right. Again, I'm using a low angle. When I took these pictures, I was holding my camera. Um, no, that's too high. I was holding my camera at about my navel right at my belly button and uh, so that the people that are up close appear heroic dimensions. So acrylics, yeah, if you want to change your mind, of course, you have to do it really quickly. So even there, after just 90 seconds or so of, of those marks being on the canvas, they, they're not all going to come off. But close enough, close enough. Okay, let me try that again. I'm mixing some phthalo blue with some brown just to get a dark, nondescript color. So let me try that again. Brown and groom, not quite so high up in this one. Let's see how that works. Um, of course, as you can see, I placed them right exactly where those two lines, three lines, converged. And I'm having second thoughts about that as well, so, third thoughts. I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to move them a little bit to the right. Barely, not quite getting all of that off, of course, but close enough. There's a little bit of the ghost of the dress. In other words, that has dried enough. That's the, if you will, one of the downsides of acrylics is you have to work pretty quick if you're going to change your mind. Okay, so I am going to change my mind. Again, I'm going to move the bride and groom a little bit to the right. I didn't, didn't like all those lines hitting them. It's too much of a good thing. So let's try groom over here. And bride maybe here. They each in this in this photograph, and it's a it's a combination of two photographs. Again, here's what I'm looking at. It's a combination of two photographs. And um They each have their head cocked 
at a charming angle, I think. Her head, her head's leaning away from us, his head is leaning toward us. The groom is wearing a kilt. Kind of fancy kilt, I kind of like it. No, I actually like it quite a bit, it's fun. fun change of pace for me and very distinctive for him. I like it. Um, okay, her forehead comes up. Top of her head comes almost to his eyebrow. And there's about one head width between the two of them. And her upper arm comes straight down from her ear. And her, uh, virtually a perfect right angle bend at the knee. His, his shirt, opening his white shirt, um, is pointing about 34 minutes after the hour. Does that make sense to you? Of course, it's tapered, but her chest is using the same clock face. I'm going to go up points at about 10 minutes till the hour. change his face now and the general angle of his face points at five minutes till the hour again just continue to use that clock face analogy so that's the edge of his face the back of his face is perfectly vertical lower her arm a little bit. Gonna erase for the third time. Unusual for me to erase like this at all in the acrylic stage and there I am doing it three times in the same painting. Shoulder blade. Waist. Uh, just under her elbow and perfectly horizontal waistband and then dress out from there. The angle front of her dress is angled um, pointing down here about 25 minutes after the hour. So it makes I hope you guys are understanding what I'm when I'm using the, the clock face analogy. If this is the center of a clock and this is the the hand, minute hand, to be pointing at about 25 minutes after the hour. Very helpful. Uh, let me, now, let me no, let me do a little bit more so that she's not floating. If I don't have the bottom of her, I, I can't get the perspective right. Let me stand back now about eight feet and see if I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's better. Now, the only question I have is could they be a little bit larger? La, 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 la. No, I don't think so. They could go down a little bit lower though, and which bringing them lower, of course, that tells me how close they are to the viewer. I actually have her dress just barely go off the bottom of the, of the canvas. I think that's all right. A little bit unusual, but I think it works in this case. Oh yes, and I just re realized. Let me. I wanted to put the, uh, the the cake is over there to my left. There's the cake. 
again, here's the scene that I'm painting, more or less, without the, without the bride and groom in it. I've already taken, as you can tell, I've already taken pictures of them. And uh, I think the, the cake would be a nice element right here. So I'm moving it about 10 feet, 8 feet from where it actually is in the room. But I, th I think it'll make a nice... Uh, hang on just a second. Not quite that, not quite that large. Yeah, narrow that down a little bit. Um, one thing that's making me happy at the moment about this painting, the way it's developing, when I first walked into this room this morning, I went, oh boy, this can be a challenge because it's, it's a pretty empty, fairly empty space. Not a lot of details, uh, uh, not a lot of um, intricate architectural things and so on and so forth. Not a lot of stuff. Um, they added this table, which later, which helped, and now I'm adding the cake table. But I've moved things like, I, I've added a string of lights that actually, this string is realistic, but this one is not. So that's a modification. Nobody will notice because the lights are in the room, but they're just not there. Lowered this window a little bit, lowered these lights a little bit, moved these windows in a little bit. Um, so, um, Lo and behold, if if the uh, if the painting isn't quite quite full, so I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> 